Aside from the window dressing, I think cyberpunk has been the most prescient of all speculative fiction genres. We don't have neural interface jacks hardwired into our brain stems, but almost everyone carries powerful computers in their pockets. And these computers spy on them, sell things to them, and completely consume their attention. Selectively editing genes is now technically feasible, and scientists have no scruples against biologically engineering animals, human babies, or respiratory viruses. As of 2021, most Westerners are living out a totalitarian dystopia facilitated by the unholy merger of corporate and state tyranny. Psychotropic booster drugs are widespread among the population, approximately 20% of adult Americans, in fact. Nihilism reigns supreme in the anti-culture. Politicians, bureaucrats, celebrities, and religious leaders openly lie and contradict their supposed values without shame or fear of prosecution. Nobody believes the things they say, and they are too afraid to say the things they really believe. The 24-hour news cycle, split-second cinematic cuts, non-stop marketing, and the generally ephemeral nature of what passes for a culture has left us scatterbrained and depressed, with attention spans shorter than many birds. Violent crime and civil unrest is once again a fact of life in our cities. The inside of a renovated McDonald's looks like a scene from Minority Report or Blade Runner. We even have TV screens on our gas pumps. Which is to say that we got all the bad stuff from cyberpunk and very little of the good. Where are all the buck-naked, katana-strapping, oozy-blasting, chrome-assed street samurai babes riding through town on rice rockets? Your thoughts on this would interest me. Leave a comment below.